this is just you know very simple example, right? So, Control T or Control L to create table. So I'm just going to name it. You know, it's days a week, right? I'm just going to do a simple data validation drop down uh, that gives me the the day of the week. So I'll have um, day data one data two. Right. So when you try to add data validation, with a list, and you use a little ref editor tool, you know, it, you see it puts in standard cell referencing, right? Mm -hmm. And you can click OK, and that'll work. If you try and say um, weekdays, weekday, right, in structured referencing, you can see it doesn't work. You get an error. But if I select that and I use um, uh, where is it? Control F3 to get to the name manager, or you can do it from the formulas tab. New, say weekday, and you can see that what it refers to is the, the structured reference, right? And you can't name it the same, so I can't say weekdays because weekdays is a reserved name now because it's the name of the table. So now weekdays is named range. Now in my destination table, select data validation equals weekday from a list. And then my drop down then has everything from that list. And the great thing about this is, you know, let's say, uh, let's say I forgot a day, right? I don't have Saturday on there. My drop down list, Saturday's gone. So it's, it's dynamic to what is taken away or added to. If I add Saturday back, and then it's back in my data validation drop down list. So it's a nice way to keep a you know, nice unique list that's dynamic for your data validation drop downs. Yep.